as a maritime nation. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, Kenyans need to embrace this space. If you have extra money, please bring it into the maritime sector. We've had enough of stone and mortar. Yeah, the real estate. Yeah, real estate. Blocks and sand and cement. Yes. This is an area where we can do so much more. Mm -hmm. Then the other thing I wanted to, to say is that uh, global, you know, events globally are pointing at us as Africa mm -hmm. to be able to play a more, you know, important role. And of course, we, we talk of Africa, but still mm -hmm. the country itself. Mm -hmm. And we have what it takes as Kenyans mm -hmm. to be the springboard for what, you know, Africa can do. Right. Uh, let me start by talking of the, the demographics, of the demographic dividend for Kenya. Great. You can't even begin to mm -hmm. think of what the young people can do. Techno savvy, well-traveled, speak very well, grounded in English. English is the center, like I said earlier, is the language of the... Of the, the language sector of the is the language of safety, of safety and that's uh -huh. the most imp yes. uh, important uh, thing to note mm -hmm. they speak english very well no accent you know so because the idea of the language is to communicate mm -hmm. to be able to communicate and to also get instructions and and and, and, and effect 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 them mm -hmm. but at the heart of all this and what we can do is capacity building. Mm -hmm. It's training, training, training. Mm -hmm. And therefore having enough infrastructure for training is very, very key. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and investment in the sector, and that's why I, I don't know whether you heard the VC saying that uh, there was a time even I met him when I was engaging KEPSA because I'm mm -hmm. trying to interest mm -hmm. uh, people with capital, including the private sector, please, bring the money into this space train the people set up even if it is cottage industries in this sector that can uh, contribute to the to, to the blue economy mm -hmm. when we talk of the the personnel that's one of the most critical the people you know who will be who are expected to work on board ships the fleet the global fleet mm -hmm. Even as we are going into um, automation, because now we are, you know, the future is, the theme is saying, navigating the future, we'll see mm -hmm. uh, ships that are, oh, like we are getting the Tesla, drive cars, you know, even it's coming ships. into the sea, but that's still a long way off. Mm -hmm. So we'll still... There's still a for need long, for people. Yes, mm -hmm. there'll still be a need for people. So starting that accelerated, mm -hmm. Uh, investments in training is very, very, very important. One person like would I, ask hmm. accelerated training to get into this, are there opportunities? Oh, and that's what I'm driving at because two events that happened in the recent past, mm. the COVID-19. Pay attention, folks. <laughs> COVID-19 exposed the Achilles heel of the maritime sector mm. because there before we had no notice or we didn't pay attention to well, we have crew, they're qualified, where they come from, it's a big issue. But now, COVID shuts almost half the world, and therefore movement is restricted.